I'm jealous. I'm going to have to do it. I am. You. It's really nice, and it's a great opportunity to show our viewers as we continue our Take 5 for Heart Health with Lexington Medical Center to show them what happens inside an ambulance when you call 911 for help. Remember, Jamie was just mentioning it's so important to call 911 as opposed to trying to get the person to the hospital yourself. Micah is, uh, Norman is with the uh, Lexington County EMS trainer, and Megan Davis also with this group. So, guys, if you'll give us a quick tour of some of the key points in here, if you call for 911 and a person gets into this as sure. a patient, what am I looking at here? Sure, thanks. Well, Donnie, one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to bring the patient back here and we're going to be calm and supportive and have them relax and just try to take care of them. So you're not going to be met with somebody who's freaking out or trying to do too much, but there's a lot going on in the background. The next thing we're going to do is that aspirin that Jamie mentioned, that four baby aspirin, that's one of the vital things in first line treatment. So we're going to go ahead and give you that baby aspirin if you didn't take it at home. Okay, so following that, this is an EKG machine right here, and what we have is electrodes that go on the patient all around the chest. So if we have somebody complaining of chest pain, we're going to put these on. It's going to show every particular portion of the heart, and we can see particularly where an infarct or a damage might be happening from a heart attack. And the vital thing about this is we can take this, we can send it to the hospital wirelessly. It's instant. They have it. A cardiologist and a physician can look at it, and they can go ahead and get everything ready if there needs to be a second-line treatment once they get to the hospital. But how much time would it take to actually get a, a patient into this position for care once you've picked that person up from, from outside? Sure. It doesn't take long at all. I mean, once we can get into the house, uh, depending on any circumstances, stairs, narrow hallways, that adds a few more minutes. But as soon as we can get them out of the house and get them in here, it's just a matter of plug and play here, and we can just stick them on and go with that. It's really key why Jamie said to call 911, because you guys are already, you and Megan are already administering care to this person. Right as opposed to the person being in my car trying to still get to the hospital. So great information. Thank you. And can you guys look at the fact that this mannequin blinks? <laughs> Jamie, yes. Megan, thank you so much for what That's you guys right. do. Protecting thank you. so thank many you of us out us. there. Appreciate that. Yep. Don't forget that health fair, the information I gave you, it's on the big red 10 right now. We'll be right back with much more right after this.